It's been a while since I've done one of these what's in my purse videos and I figured it's time to update you guys. Cause let's be honest, we're all a little bit nosy and I love seeing what's inside people's bags. So this here is my bag. It is from Daily Look and this is like my go-to bag right now. If I don't know what bag to use, I automatically just gravitate towards this one. So let's open this guy up here and see what I have inside. First thing I have, the Yes to Cucumbers facial towelettes. This is actually a brand new package I've only used like one but there are 10 travel towelettes so this is a little mini size in comparison to the regular size that normally has like 40 wipes in it, I think. Well, I don't know, don't quote me on that because I'm not really sure, but it's a lot bigger. I just like having this in my bag in case I want to fix up any makeup smudges. And I also use these on my hands sometimes because it just feels good. Next, I have this little pouch from Anya Heinmark and you're gonna notice I love me some Anya Heinmark. She just makes really cute stuff. Her logo is a bow, so it was like meant to be. This says girly stuff on it, which is adorable. And then inside I have all of my girly stuff. The first thing that I'm pulling out kind of looks inappropriate at first sight if your mind is going down that gutter, but I'm gonna pull it out of that gutter and bring it back down to the PG Road. This is my Travelo, and it currently has the Pure Seduction Bloom scent in it, so if I'm stinky, I can spray myself and I don't have to bring my entire bottle of body spray, which would just be ridiculous and I don't even know if it would fit in my bag. I have a little itty bitty Benefit Lolly Tint and this is actually their newest tint. I love the original Benefit Tint that you can use on your lips, on your cheeks. I like using this on my lips. It has this brush applicator and it's this really pretty like orchid pink color, which is so on trend right now. I think when you go into Sephora, it's like like the color of the season. Speaking of lip color, this is the one that I have been loving recently because I am all about the hot pink lip colors and I've been getting tons of questions about what I have been wearing because I've been Instagramming with hot pink lips like every time I Instagram. This is the Kaylin Tinted Lip Balm in Acid Pink and oh my gosh, this thing is about as bright and in your face as you can get, but it is incredible. This is what I have over the Lolly Tint today. It's really matte, but it's still moisturizing. It lasts a really, really long time and it doesn't get in your teeth like a lot of lipsticks do, which is so annoying, especially when you're wearing a bright color. And on top of that, like, literally on top of that, there's a little applicator brush. And this is awesome, especially because this is a bright color and you wanna make sure that you're applying it nicely on your lips. And I just wipe this off every time I'm finished using it so it doesn't get all gunky inside. You guys know I love me a good champagne eyeshadow, so of course I have to carry one with me. This is the Elizabeth Mott Pop Goes the Shadow in champagne and I'm wearing this today not on my lids but actually as a cheek highlighter color. It's a powder but it just glides on and is really creamy and silky. You can't go wrong with a champagne color. They're perfect for day and nighttime and I've also worn this on my lids just as a regular eyeshadow and it's very long lasting so it doesn't crease which is awesome especially because you know me and my super oily eyelids. I don't need to tell you guys about that. Since I cut my hair, I really just want to keep the volume in my hair. I want the style to stay, and I also want it to be texturized. It's just like a completely different monster styling short hair, and I'm getting used to it, and I'm actually thinking about cutting my hair a little bit shorter, but we'll see, we'll see. We're getting a little bit ahead of the game here. Let's go back to this. This is the Big Sexy Hair Root Pump and it is the Volumizing Spray Mousse. So this is a little travel guy. It's not like the big giant can, so I can fit this in my bag. And this is great because you can use this on damp hair. That's actually what the instructions say. But I like using this on my hair when it's dry, when it's already been styled. And I just separate my hair into sections and then I'll spray this into like my root area and it's really great because it gives volume but it's not like a messy mousse that you have to deal with. This makes your hair look super volumized, it gives a little bit of hold and it also resists humidity. The next thing I have is a black eyeliner and this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Velvet Glide On Pencil. And you guys know I am a huge fan of the 24-7 pencils from Urban Decay. They are awesome and I own so 
many colors, it's kind of ridiculous. This is actually a new line of pencils that they came out with, and this is the color Black Velvet, so it's like the blackest of the black color. And the awesome thing about this is that it goes on really, really smoothly, but you have the option to blend it out. So you can really smudge it, make it like smoky, or you can have a very like sleek, smooth, straight line. BD dubs, if you are interested in these products that I just talked about, I'll have a link down below to Ipsy where you can find some of these awesome products because trust me, you're gonna want some of these guys. This is why I carry all of this stuff with me. This is the stuff that like, I feel like I constantly need. So guess what? There's more guys. I have a concealer in my bag just to touch up my under eye concealer because that is something that I've noticed definitely wears off no matter what you do. So I am currently using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in number 20 sand. So this is just a liquid concealer. It actually kind of looks like the NARS concealer. Only, I will say, it does not give as much coverage as the NARS one, but it's great to use underneath your eyes. Then, I have this little Human Gear Go Tub. This is actually a little tub of the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream because this stuff goes everywhere with me. You can use it on your face, on your hands, on your arms, on your legs. It's really moisturizing. It's not greasy. It doesn't have a scent, so if somebody else wants to use this, it's not going to be offensive. And then the the last thing I have is a lip balm. This is the Baby Lips Mango Pie, and if you're wondering why this looks different, the packaging is different, it's because this is the Baby Lips that I got in Asia. So when I was in Hong Kong, I got this at the Sasa Supreme store, and their Baby Lips packaging just looks a little bit different, and they also have different scents. This one, oh. It's just really good. All right, moving on to the rest of the bag because that was just the stuff in my little girly stuff bag and it all fits in here. I'm like really proud of myself because this is a pretty small bag. It's not a big makeup bag or anything, but everything fits nicely in here and it's just nice and compact and organized and you would never know that I have all that stuff in my bag, right? At least I hope so. I have a bobble bar bag in here and before you're like, Ingrid, what the heck are you doing carrying around like random jewelry with you? Surprise, not jewelry. These are actually my sunglasses. There you go. The original case for these sunglasses is just so bulky and huge, which I've noticed is the case for a lot of sunglasses. Get that? The case? Oh man, that just made me way too happy. I just keep them in these bobble bar bags because they're protected and these are really soft. Got my wallet. This is an Anya Heinmark wallet. Notice the bow. Oh, there's like a crumb or something on it. <laughs> Excuse me. So this is a pretty standard wallet. I just have cash, cards, my ID, all of that fun but not really fun stuff. I have a snack because I just get hungry at random times and I need to put something in my belly. So I have this bar saves lives and it is the Madagascar vanilla almond and honey bar and these are my favorite. They're super super yummy and on the back it says it's simple. For every bar you buy, we give a packet of life-saving food to a child in need. So there you go. That's why this bar is called This Bar Saves Lives. I don't know why this is in here, but this is a gigantic binder clip, and I really don't know why this is in here. I have a pen because I like to be the person that people ask for a pen, and then I just feel so proud of myself that I have a pen. Yeah. Weird. So that's everything in like the main middle compartment here and then there are two side pockets off to the side Duh. I have a couple bandages because you just never know what's gonna happen Usually I end up using these on blisters on my feet But sometimes people get cut sometimes I get cut and it's just good to have these guys around I have a pretty ridiculous amount of hair ties because I have this problem where I always stick a hair tie in my bag before I leave because I'm like oh Just in case I need a hair tie and then I end up not needing the hair tie so then I just end up with a bunch of hair ties in my bag. I have a tied stain stick, which I have actually only used on myself surprisingly once. I normally end up giving this to other people, and again, this is another thing that makes me feel very proud. Like, oh, you have a stain? 
I have a solution for that. I have a problem, guys. This is a problem. I also have a case of bobby pins. Notice how they are in this case because I am determined to keep these away from the bobby pin and hair tie stealing fairies. These are actually Japanese bobby pins and Japanese bobby pins always work the best. They're actually a slightly different shape. They really, really grip the hair. They don't slip at all. And then I have a bath and Body Works handy back. This is the Aqua Blossom, which is just a nice universal scent that I feel like everybody will enjoy. Okay, so in the last side pocket, I have a Summer's Eve cleansing cloth because you never know when you're gonna end up somewhere without toilet paper. And I'm telling you guys, this has definitely saved me more than once. So I always make sure I have at least one of these on hand. Not having toilet paper, not having toilet seat covers to use as backup toilet paper, it's a very, very strange situation to be in and it's not fun because it's like, okay, do I like air dry or do I try to like kind of pull up my pants and see if there's paper towels outside? You know, girls, because we've all been there. And then I have a pad because it's that time of the month and you know, gotta be prepared. I actually really like these because they're super thin. These are the always don't remember the name, but they will probably end up in my favorites because I really, really like these. I just like having this around for emergencies because sometimes that time of the month just likes to pop up on you and you're like, oh, hello, hello, I am ready for you. And in the last pocket here on the outside, I have my phone, which doesn't have a case on it because my Brandy Melville donut case melted while I was in Asia because it was so hot in Singapore and Bali that it melted. So my phone is currently naked. And then uh, I have a chapstick that does not belong to me. So, yep, this is classic with SPF 4, but it's not mine. That is everything that is currently in my bag and now I guess I have to put it all back in the bag. Giveaway time! I'm going to be giving away the black version of this bag so everything is the same it's just in the black color and all you have to do is number one to make sure you are subscribed to my channel, number two give this video a thumbs up and then down below in those comments tell me one thing that is in your bag right now the weirder the more entertaining just saying. And be sure to check out my newest Ingrid Dishes recipe, which is a bunch of little mini grilled cheese sandwiches. So I will have that link down below for you guys. And make sure you're subscribed to Pop Sugar Girl's Guide so you can watch all of the episodes. That's gonna be it for today. Don't know why I'm doing this, but make sure you're following me on Twitter so you can stay updated on all of the strange things that I'm doing and saying. And so you can enter the giveaways that will definitely be happening on Twitter. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. I hope you're having an awesome day. And stay weird, because I love you like that. Bye!